Hi everyone, um, welcome to today's webinar. My name is Carrie Mokowski. I'm the National Programs Manager here at FAIR, and I'm going to be your moderator for today's presentation, which is titled Food Allergy Awareness Week, How to Get Your School Involved. Um, before we begin, I want to say a thank you to our sponsors, Owen Brands and Pure Encapsulations, for making this webinar possible today. And just to start off with a little bit of housekeeping um, before we get started, this presentation is going to be recorded and will be posted on the FAIR website in about seven to ten days. Please note that for maintaining a quality recording, all attendees will be muted throughout the webinar. However, um, you can submit questions throughout the broadcast by using both the questions and chat features which you'll see in the GoToWebinar toolbar that's on the right-hand side of your screen. Um, if time permits and the questions are applicable, we will respond to some um, for our presenter at the end of the webinar. So please do submit those if you have any. Um, for those of you on Twitter, we encourage you to join us in conversation during the broadcast. You can follow along with our webinar live tweets at our handle at foodallergy or hashtag fairwebinar. So our speaker today is Alyssa Ackerman. Alyssa is the Associate Director of Constituent Engagement here at FAIR. Uh, she plays a key role in the creation and implementation of FAIR's various awareness initiatives, including our Be a Palantine, Safe for the Summer, Food Allergy Awareness Week, Back to School Safely, and the Teal Pumpkin Project. She is focused on creating meaningful resources and initiatives to increase awareness on behalf of the food allergy community. Um, at this time, I'm delighted to turn the presentation over to Alyssa. Thanks, Carrie. Welcome to FAIR's Food Allergy Awareness Week webinar, where we will be discussing how to get your school involved and excited about this awareness opportunity. As Carrie mentioned, my name is Alyssa Ackerman, and I work out of the McLean office at FAIR. I'm excited to join you all today to talk through some tips and provide resources related to Food Allergy Awareness Week. This initiative is very special for the food allergy community, and I know that we can do great things together. Let's start with some background. Food Allergy Awareness Week was started in 1998 by one of FAIR's legacy organizations, Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network to educate the public about the seriousness of food allergies. This year, the event falls on May 13th through the 19th. While there is a focus on the week, FAIR has come up with some great activities to get people involved and in spreading awareness throughout the full month of May. You can find a full listing of resources and activities at foodallergyweek.org. This year, we would like you to shine a light on food allergies during Food Allergy Awareness Week. Our focus is to help shine a light on the serious consequences of food allergy reactions, as well as how to identify symptoms and respond in case of an emergency. And also, this week is used to empower the food allergy community and beyond to recognize how they can increase awareness, encourage respect, promote safety, and improve the quality of life for the 15 million Americans with food allergies. So now that we've talked about the background of Food Allergy Awareness Week, let's go over what we're going to accomplish on the webinar today. By the end of this webinar, you should walk away with outreach tactics to apply to your school, have resources for presentations, ideas on how to participate in Teal Takeover, and ways to spread the word about this initiative. Let's get started. The main goal of this webinar is to talk about ways to get your school involved. You may have some fantastic ideas already brainstormed, but could be finding that it can be tough to actually get your school engaged. With one in 13 children having food allergies, or two in every classroom, it is important to recognize the impact and importance of educating others about food allergies. Here are some tactics to consider. First, you could consider sending materials to your teacher or school administrator. By providing information to your teacher or school administrator, 
you're able to share the serious consequences of food allergy and why they should want to spread awareness and educate others. If you're looking for materials to provide, utilize resources found on foodallergy.org, such as the Facts and Statistics Guide or the infographic created specifically for Food Allergy Awareness Week. When sending your materials, consider either a physical package or email. This would be an opportunity to share your connection to the mission to show why it's important to review and use the materials you're sending. With the materials, you can also offer to come in and share with the class. You can also consider setting up a meeting with the teacher. If sending materials doesn't resonate with your school, asking for a meeting with a teacher to talk through might be a better tactic. Bring examples of activities you could do in the class or partner with the teacher to come up with more ideas together. Use this time to show that you are there to support the classroom and food allergy community. This is also your time to take away the fear. Talking about the seriousness of food allergies can feel scary to kids and teachers, which might cause them to be hesitant, but showcasing ways to communicate this in a friendly way might help. You can also ask to put a flyer in classroom folders. This is a simple way to spread the word. FAIR has various resources on foodallergy.org that you can choose from to include in the folder, from posters to infographics and activity sheets. You could also think about speaking at your PTA meeting. Depending on how your school runs their meetings, there may be an opportunity for you to educate staff and parents. Also, it's a great opportunity to inspire other parents to want to do something in their child's classroom around Food Allergy Awareness Week. Finally, think of ways to involve your child. This is a great way to get your child to start advocating on behalf of the food allergy community. It offers a way for the teacher or school to understand the impact of Food Allergy Awareness Week, and your child knows their classmates. They may have some unique and fun ideas for how to incorporate Food Allergy Awareness Week in their classroom that you might not have thought about. Now that you've gotten your school interested in participating in Food Allergy Awareness Week, what are you going to share? FAIR has some great presentations to consider, and we're going to take a deeper dive into two of them. First, the Be a Pal Protect a Life from Food Allergies Education Program. This is one of FAIR's beloved educational programs to use in the classroom. The mission of this program is to help children learn how to be good friends to kids with food allergies. Second is FAIR's K-12 Education Program. Part of this includes a presentation called Food Allergies, Keeping Students Safe and Included. This is a great place to start if you are engaging with your school's teachers or administrators to help educate them on how to manage food allergies at school and respond to food allergy emergencies. Let's take a deeper look into each. Be a Pal is great for parents, teachers, scout troop leaders, youth group leaders, or coaches. The goal of this program and presentation is to bring awareness to other students in the classroom who may not have a food allergy. It explains what it means to have a food allergy and how they can be a good friend to kids who are managing food allergies every day. It's also a great way to get your child involved. FAIR has a variety of resources in both English and Spanish to bring this program into the classroom. You'll find handouts, instruction sheets, presentation guides for elementary and middle school, a poster, activity sheets, bookmarks, and a certificate all on foodallergy.org for download. FAIR's online store also carries various ViaPal products that can enhance your presentation. From pencils to stickers, bookmarks, and posters, all proceeds help fund food allergy research. This program is also great because it can be adjusted and used throughout the year to reinforce the important lessons of the program. For example, for Valentine's Day, there are Be a Pal inspired materials, or for Halloween, you can use the Pal characters in conjunction with the Teal Pumpkin Project. Resources are available year round. If you're looking for a way to communicate the importance of a school's preparation and plans for students managing food allergies, FAIR's K-12 program is a ter terrific place to start. 
This was created to provide access to resources that can help schools become better prepared to manage students with food allergies. The program provides schools with evidence-based training and education on practices for keeping students with food allergies safe and included. The objectives of the presentation are improve understanding of food allergies and anaphylaxis, identify laws that protect individuals with food allergies, identify ways that school staff can create a safer and more inclusive school environment for students with food allergies, and learn how to plan for, recognize, and respond to a food allergy reaction. Available materials for this presentation include a PowerPoint presentation, companion guide, quiz, and Dear School Leader letter that you can provide to a school leader about the importance of a presentation like this for their staff. Now that we've talked about two options for a presentation, either to students or teachers and administrators, I'd like to share an idea to add some spirit into the week. Over the past couple of years, Teal Takeover has become a tradition during Food Allergy Awareness Week. Why teal? Teal is the color of food allergy awareness. Teal Takeover Day is on May 17th and is a way to raise awareness to promote a sense of unity. Seeing so many people dressed in teal shows what a large, powerful community we really are. If you're planning to participate in Teal Takeover Day, make sure to share how you're celebrating by using the hashtag and posting on social media. We love to see the creative ways people take teal to the next level. Teal Takeover is a great opportunity for a classroom or school to participate in Food Allergy Awareness Week. Here are some ways to show some teal spirit that you can share with your teacher or school administrator. Have a classroom spirit day. Ask the teacher if their class can have a spirit day where they dress in teal. Consider making it a friendly competition. Which class has the most teal? which grade is decked out in teal, etc. Have the teacher explain to the classroom the meaning behind teal and why it is important to be a friend to those managing food allergies. Consider decorating the classroom. Help your teacher turn the classroom teal. Surprise the students when they come in on May 17th to find their classroom has turned teal. When the students begin asking why, it'll be a great opportunity to educate them about food allergies and how to be a good friend to others. You can provide teal props. If your child's classroom is participating in teal takeover, you can provide some teal props to bring the spirit to the next level. Have students create a hashtag teal takeover sign with paper and teal markers or crayons, for example. You can also give your teacher examples of how to use arts and crafts to celebrate Teal Takeover. One way to participate in Teal Takeover is to do arts and crafts in the classroom. A great part of arts and crafts is that they can be free of food. Check out the activity sheets available at foodallergy.org and print out for the classroom. You can also come up with some unique and fun ideas. For example, have the students draw colorful teal designs on popsicle sticks and stick together to create frames. They'll be able to put a picture of themselves from teal takeover in the frame. With teal pipe cleaners and beads, you can create stick figures to represent your teal community. Or they can turn them into teal ribbons and create keychains or a pin. One more idea is if you have teal beads or yarn, you could create teal takeover bracelets. These also aren't limited to the classroom. They could be a fun at-home activity with friends too. All of these ideas can also be a part of your Be A Pal presentation. And you can get creative too. Consider making a quilt of knowledge for your classroom. Students participate by drawing an image and writing a sentence or two about how they can be a pal to somebody with food allergies. The teacher can then attach all of the pages together into a big quilt and it can be put on display on a wall, door, or bulletin board in the classroom. Additionally, if you're looking for teal accessories for, for you or your child, check out Fair's online store. Proceeds from each purchase fund food allergy resources. 
research. Accessories include teal ribbon pins, teal sunglasses, teal shoelaces, teal ribbon stickers, and a teal scarf. You can visit Bear's online store at store.foodallergy.org. The Food Allergy community's voice is loud and strong. There are many ways for you to spread the word within your school about Food Allergy Awareness Week. Here are three ideas that you can take away with you. One, send out a message in your school's daily announcements or newsletter. If your school has daily announcements, check to see if you can provide language to promote Food Allergy Awareness Week. Information to include would be the dates and quick ways to get involved. A school newsletter can also be a good resource to spread the message. See if you can provide content for the May edition. Consider including a link to foodallergyweek.org, pictures, the dates and activities for parents and students to consider all during the month of May. Provide a flyer or handout to be placed in students' weekly folders. As mentioned previously, sending home important information in weekly folders can be a quick way to spread the message. You can consider printing out activity sheets, the full month calendar of activities, or an infographic. You never know what you'll inspire by sending these home with students. Third, build excitement for Food Allergy Awareness Week on social media. Social media is one of the best and easiest ways you can spread the word about Food Allergy Awareness Week. Be sure to use hashtag Teal Takeover and hashtag Food Allergy Week every time you post. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for messages throughout Food Allergy Awareness Week and month that you can share with your friends and followers. If your school or classroom has a Facebook group, you could consider sharing information there too. The following resources will be made available to help spark conversation on your social media platforms. A profile picture frame. Add this frame to your profile picture to show that you will shine a light on food allergies during Food Allergy Awareness Week. Update your cover photo. This can complement your new profile picture frame. Utilize shareables. It helps to know you're not alone when it comes to food allergies. Caregivers, coworkers, friends, teachers, and your partners are a critical part of your support system, but they may not know how to help. Bear is providing various images you can post to social media that explain what someone in your network can do to support you and your family. One you can share with your school includes one for your teachers. It explains that teachers can avoid the use of identified allergens in class projects parties, crafts, science experiments, snacks or rewards. Encourage children to wash hands before and after handling or consuming food and to support parents of children with food allergies who wish to provide safe snack items for their child in the event of unexpected circumstances. You can find these shareables at foodallergyweek.org. We invite you to visit foodallergyweek.org for more information and resources to, the, to make the most out of Food Allergy Awareness Week this year. Bayer will be sending more resources and updates via email throughout April and May. Make sure that you are signed up to receive communication from us. You can sign up at foodallergyweek.org by scrolling to the bottom of the page. Stay connected with Bayer on social media too. We'll be posting different ways to take action all month and want to see your posts. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and don't forget to tag your pictures using hashtag Teal Takeover and hashtag Food Allergy Week. I want to take a moment to say a special thank you again to our Food Allergy Awareness Week sponsors, OM Brands and Pure Encapsulations for making today possible. We hope that you found the tips and ideas shared today useful and you feel well equipped to communicate food allergy awareness in a school setting. On behalf of all of us at FAIR, we want to thank every parent, 
student, educator, healthcare provider, and organization that is helping to make Food Allergy Awareness Week 2018 a huge success. Great. Thank you, Alyssa. That was super informative. Um, you covered so much, but we actually did get a couple of questions um, from our viewers. So if you could just stick around a little longer and answer some of those. Sure. Okay. So this perhaps is a problem shared by uh, many of our parents out there, but this mother is writing in and said that she has tried getting her school involved and that just no one seems to care. Do you have any advice for her? Sure, and I'm sure a lot of the people on the call might be facing the same dilemma that you have the resources, you're willing to get into the school and talk to whoever you need to talk to, and sometimes you're still um, faced with obstacles. Um, a couple things that I would recommend would be to try sharing your connection to the mission. And by using real life examples, you can drive home why it's important to educate others about the seriousness of food allergies. Um, but if you're not comfortable sharing something personal, there has various videos you can send that explain the mission and importance of food allergy awareness. So if you um, visit our website, you can find those videos and those are really impactful also in addition to sharing why uh, the mission is important to you. Great, thank you. Um, this next one's a little bit about the Teal Takeover Day. Um, I know you talked about some really cool ideas for like the classroom and arts and crafts and quilts and decorating and um, ways that um, parents can bring it to school. Is there an actual day during the week that Teal Takeover um, takes place on? Yeah, so the day is May 17th, but really you can, um, show your spirit every day by wearing teal but we are definitely encouraging people to celebrate teal takeover on may 17th may 17th okay that's great um you talked a little bit about the be a pal program and the k-12 training program but um someone asked if the be a pal program addresses food allergy bullying Yes, it does. In the uh, Be a Pal PowerPoint presentation, there are a couple of slides uh, that talk about what would you do, and there are um, some scenarios in there, and one of them addressed bullying and how to be good friends with someone who might be bullied based on their food allergy. Um, and this is used in both the elementary and middle school presentation. Okay, thank you. Um, next question we got um, is from a parent. She says that her son's teacher um, does acknowledge that he has a food allergy, but that he still feels kind of excluded from some of the homeroom learning activities. Um, can you suggest what are some alternatives that um, this parent can offer to the classroom so everyone can feel involved or offer to the teacher, sorry? Sure. Um, so, it's very important that your child's feeling both safe and included in the classroom, and a lot of the programs and initiatives of FAIR are based in those two principles of feeling safe and included. So, um, there are a variety of resources that you can offer as suggestions to your child's teacher. Um, for example, if the homeroom does activities around, say, Valentine's Day or Halloween, where candy is often associated, you could suggest there's the Palantine program or the Teal Pumpkin project. Um, additionally, if you're made aware of any classroom projects that may contain allergens in advance, um, you could do your best to suggest alternatives or things that you use in your home. Um, if you visit FAIR's back to school headquarters, there are also materials you can share with your teacher, including a calendar of activities that they can consider incorporating into their school year. So I think the biggest takeaway would be providing options to your teacher. Um, they might not have had to consider having a student with a food allergy and um, might need the extra um, help seeing how to align it with the curriculum they're working on. Great advice, thank you. Um, this parent said that 
they wanted to bring awareness to their child's school about food allergies, but then also help raise money for the cause. Is there anything that that they can do? Um, well, there are many ways you can combine spreading awareness with raising important funds to support the mission. Um, I will say every school is different with how they participate in fundraising activities. So the first thing you'll want to do is always check first with, you know, any policies that might be in place with your school. Um, but you can get pretty creative. Um, some things that I've seen done in the past um, include uh, activities like penny wars, um, where you do a penny war fundraiser in the school where kids bring spare change um, during a set period of time, usually a week or two, and it's broken into classrooms or grades, and um, it's kind of like a, a competition to collect the most money. Um, and at the end of the week, you crown either the classroom or the grade, um, the winner of that, and they get to donate it to the charity of choice. Um, or also, you can consider a dress down day. Um, if your school has a uniform, you can see if you can participate in a dress down day for Teal Takeover, where students would donate a certain amount of money to participate. Um, but this is also a great fundraiser for teachers and staff who might not get to dress down um, so that they can, you know, make a, a donation and wear jeans during the day. That sounds, that sounds nice. I would like that. <laughs> Those are great ideas. Okay, just a couple more. Um, so other than the Be a Pal campaign, which you talked a lot about, do you have any um, other resources that you could recommend or some type of like message board for um, a child to utilize? Sure. Um, I'd say reading FAIR's blog or connecting via social media with FAIR or just really diving into foodallergy.org are all great places to start for both children and parents. Um, there are sections on FAIR's website that highlight different education and community resources, as well as um, a back-to-school headquarters. Um, so you can find various webinars and training videos for older teens to check out, too. Um, but certainly, social media is also a great place to visit. Great. Thank you. Um, okay, last question that we got, and um, I'm sure there are so many resources on foodallergyweek.org, but can you speak to, do you know if there will be kind of any new resources this year, like a new poster or any new videos that are coming out for Food Allergy Awareness Week in 2018? Yeah, we're really excited to share a lot of new resources. Um, the premium version of this year's poster is available at store.foodallergy.org. In the next week or so, you'll see it available for download on our website. Um, we will be adding more resources related to shine a light on food allergies on the website. Um, we'll start rolling them out shortly. And um, if you're connected to us on social media, we'll be posting about when they're available and where to find them. Um, but there's definitely a lot more to come. Great, great. So just stay tuned for the timetable that's coming up. We'll be rolling out stuff um, throughout the next few weeks. And then I think I was on the site the other day, and isn't there a like a monthly calendar mm -hmm. of activities and stuff? So Yeah, so right now we're really highlighting Food Allergy Awareness Week. So you all can look at your calendar, start preparing, seeing what seems interesting to you. And we'll be sharing a full month calendar in the coming weeks. Um, but we wanted to make sure you had enough time to really look at what's coming ahead in your day today, too, to see how you can align. Yeah. Well, thank you for this awesome teaser. I'm so excited, and um, I'm sure our listeners are excited as well. So I think that's about it for today. I'd like to give a huge thanks to Alyssa for joining us and providing some super helpful tips and resources and information on how everyone can get involved and help spread awareness in schools. Um, please do check out our website, foodallergyweek.org. Um, and as a reminder, this webinar has been recorded. I know she mentioned a ton of great um, Teal Takeover tips and activities for the classroom. So 
this has been recorded and we'll make it available online in um, about a week. So give us about seven to 10 days. So thanks again for joining us today. Um, and we hope to see you at, again at our next live webinar broadcast. All right, have a great day. Thanks everyone.